Hi everyone, today I thought that I would film a bit of a different type of video. I've been really bringing out the weekly vlogs, but I thought that I would switch it up a bit today because for Christmas I basically got a £20 note from one of my aunties and I was kind of thinking, what should I do with this £20? I was going to put it just in my bank, but then I thought that I could do something fun with it and it would give me a good excuse to go shopping. I thought that I could go visit some charity shops today and take you along with me and kind of show you what you can get for £20 at the charity shops in Glasgow. Is this just an excuse for me to go charity shop shopping and not feel bad about it because in my head, if I've got cash, then it's basically free? Maybe, but I thought that this might be fun for you as well. I'm obviously always on the lookout for some new clothes because I love clothes. But I also want to see if I can find maybe some like interior stuff, like decorations and stuff like that for the flat. So I'm very excited to do this. I have roped Danny into coming along with me. So it will hopefully be a fun day out and hopefully I'll find some good things. Also, a screw fell out of my camera today. So I've had to tape the screen on. You can kind of see the tape there. So I'm hoping that this video doesn't break my camera. I'm gonna be really upset if it breaks because 20 pounds is not gonna buy me a new camera, unfortunately. Today we decided to visit the charity shops on Dumbarton Road in the West End, which is one of my favorite places in Glasgow to go charity shopping because yes. some of the shops are just a bit cheaper and more reasonably priced than other ones I've been to, at least in the West End. I got quite a lot of stuff in that last charity shop, but it all came to like six pounds, so I still got quite a bit left. 15 pounds 50. Yeah. The 20 pounds has been well and truly spent plus more, which I'm not feeling great about. Like eight pounds fifty more. Eight. Well, Danny gave me five pounds. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. <laughs> we just got back from our little day out, so it is time for a haul. I look slightly more haggard than I did earlier. It's quite windy outside. So as I said, I spent over £20. I actually do have £2.50 left of the cash because the last thing that I bought cost me £3.50 so I didn't have enough cash left. And then for one of the things, Daddy contributed £5 because it was a bit more expensive. So I definitely did go over the budget but I thought I would still show you what I got. So I got this skirt. I saw this in the first charity shop and I didn't get it and then at the end I went back for it. So this was the one that was £3.50 and it is this corduroy pleated skirt. I tried it on and it fit really nicely so I didn't want to pass it up. It is from the United Colours of Benetton. I feel like I've heard of that brand before. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I wasn't sure at first about it because I don't really wear like corduroy that much and it was kind of giving like Urban Outfitters two years ago, you know, like those skirts, you know the ones I mean. But I still quite liked it, so I thought I'd get that. Then I got this top. Now this was a bit kind of crazy for me. It was only a pound because it was on sale. It's from the brand After Six, which I've never heard of. But it does have, I really like the shape of it. This is the thing. I like the shape of the top and it's this like nice knitted material. However, I am not a neon person whatsoever. But I thought it was a bit different than what I usually would go for. And I feel like it would be like quite flattering on. So I picked this up too. I haven't tried on everything, so I'm not sure how it all looks. Now, this was the thing that cost me a bit more than I had wanted to pay. This was £15, it's from Karen Millen, but it was originally £25, so it was on sale. I feel like in the summer, in the spring, I'll wear this quite a lot, and it feels really nice quality. So, it is this dress, it's long. It does have this little slit here, which I'm hoping isn't too revealing, so I need to try it on and see. But yeah, this was £15, and this was the one that Danny gave me £5 towards, because it would have taken me over my budget. And then I got this jumper from the Marie Curie shop. This was £1.49 from a brand called Mistral, which I've never heard of before. It's just this jumper, but it's really soft and it's really lightweight. I feel like in the spring and summer it would be really good because obviously it doesn't actually get that warm here. So a lot of the times you do need a jumper, but it's quite thin. So I'm hoping 
that I would get quite a lot of wear out of this like in the summer. I do have a couple jumpers very similar in colour to this, but I thought because it was a bit thinner then hopefully it'll be good. Now I'm not sure about my next purchase on. I haven't obviously tried it on yet as I said, but I'm not 100% sure if I should have got this. I have a dress quite similar to it and I really liked it so I thought I'd pick this one up. It's from Papaya and it is this strapless. See strapless is usually an issue for me because I need to wear a bra but the other one I've got I kind of got away with it because of the material so this is what it looks like and it's got kind of like puffball bottom. To be fair now I'm looking at it I do quite like it. I do think it's kind of fun and as I say I have one kind of like it and I really like it. It's got some boning in the top which I think will be really nice and yeah this is what it looks like it was 199 again from the Mario Curie shop their stuff is a lot cheaper than most of the other shops i got this top for 99p it's just like a plain cream colored crop top it looks very tiny it's an extra small so i'm not actually sure if it's gonna fit me but it's from motel and yeah i just thought as a wee basic i got rid of a lot of my clothes when we moved into this flat and there was a couple basic things that I threw out which I'm like I don't know why I did that because I kind of need them so I thought I would just pick this up it does have the original tags on it as well except it feels kind of worn I'm hoping it's not going to be too see-through but yeah I just thought it was a little basic and it's got like a curved bit at the bottom which I feel like could be quite flattering and then the last thing that I got were a pair of shoes these were 199 they are these silver flats they are originally from Jones Jones bootmaker but they're like these silver flats I don't have anything like this I thought they were so fun let me see if they fit me let me try them on they say a 37 Oh my gosh, no, they're too small. I never, like, genuinely, I, like, have, like, maybe a couple shoes that actually fit me. All my other shoes are either too big or too small because my feet are just such an annoying size. They're not awful, to be fair. I could imagine if I was walking around for quite a while and then they would get a bit sore, but I thought they were kind of cool, kind of fun, and a bit different than stuff I've already got. And they were 199 I can't remember if I said that. So that was everything that I got from the charity shops. I think I spent how much altogether? I think about £22.50, if my maths is correct. Something round about that. So I only went a tiny bit over the budget, but I am pretty pleased with a lot of my stuff. I was feeling a little anxious about it afterwards, I think because I had to use my card for the last thing and I was like, this was meant to all be free with my cash. But I'm going to try all this on now. Hopefully it fits okay. And I hope you like this video. I know it's a bit, probably a bit shorter than my usual videos. Let me know if you want me to do any more kind of charity shop themed videos or anything a bit different than my usual vlogs. But I hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.